Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just jumping right into it and going straight to garage sales. It's Saturday, you know it's my favorite thing to do. But first of all, I want you guys to check the description down below. I have an ebook all about how to find the best things at garage sales and make a ton of money. So definitely check it out. At this first garage sale, the only thing I found was this Ireland Iron More sweater. And comps for new look really, really good, but for used, probably in the $40 range. But you guys, that was the only thing out of that entire yard sale that I found that was worth money. But the next yard sale, you guys, was an absolute jackpot. This woman was liquidating her entire eBay store, and she had a lot of high-end brands, including these Joie Ogden boots that I'm going to show you in just a second. I found those and grabbed them. Recent solds are anywhere from $50 to $60, but yeah, I got around 70 items from this one yard sale alone. It was nuts. Hey guys, I'm wearing my mask still because I look really scary. This morning I ran out the door to get to garage sales on time because I went running this morning as well. So I ran and then I literally ran over to a couple yard sales, found a few things at that first one. And then this second one was a woman who was cleaning out her eBay store, did not want to do it anymore. You guys, you guys, I will do a haul when I get home. This is ridiculous. Definitely an amazing haul. I found Patagonia, Pataloha, Lululemon, Eileen Fisher, Diane von Furstenberg, like Alice and Olivia, new with tags, amazing, amazing stuff, Sorel boots, you guys, it was a good morning. So I'll definitely show you when I get home, but now on to the next one. It's only eight o'clock and I still have the whole morning ahead of me. This next short sale had some Fuji bags, <laughs> fake Fuji, fake bags, uh, nothing too exciting over here, just I, honestly, you guys, I come I come across so many fake designer bags. It is ridiculous. Um, so nothing really in the clothing department over there. I did, however, pick up some Timberland boots, Timberland men's boots. Um, they were hiking boots, like mid-ankle. So those turned out to be a pretty good find. And then I looked in the books that they had, and they had a $70 textbook just sitting there. So I grabbed that along with a couple of other lower dollar value books. And yeah, there's what I grabbed. In addition to that, he had some Tesla t-shirts. He works at Tesla, I guess. So I picked up three brand new t-shirts and a Tesla jacket that is embroidered that sold the day I listed it for $75. So that was a really good find. In addition to that, you guys, I'm just going to show you really quick how full my trunk got from all of the stuff that I got at that previous yard sale. My trunk in this SUV is almost completely full. We have Chaco sandals, those Timberland boots, some other Nayat sandals. Those are made in Israel. I have Anthropology, Athleta, those Joie boots. I mean, you guys, I picked up so many high-end items. This is that Athleta New With Tags vest. At this next yard sale, I found a lot of hidden treasures, including a PlayStation 3 that's in that bag there. I found some UGG Sydney leather boots. These have a shearling lining, should go for around $50. A second pair of Sorel boots and some amazing flannel shirts I will tell you about later in this video. This next yard sale had some really beautiful items, including these giraffe at home Nordstrom robes. These are like luxury robes, a ton of free people. This is a trapeze swing dress, another Anka border dress that I'll show you here, a bunch of dresses, lots of Nordstrom brands such good condition too and so I was super thrilled to get these and this was actually the last yard sale I went to that day so I just won all around you guys it was a really really good yard sale Saturday okay you guys again I have to hide my face so I look crazy but oh my gosh today has been so awesome I cannot wait to get home and just do a haul and show you everything that I got I got a PlayStation 3 that woman did find the other Ugg boot. She's gonna deliver it to me actually because she lives nearby. So that and I got some Sorel boots. You guys, I have so much stuff. I'm gonna show you as soon as I get home, but it's a little bit hard for me to vlog while I am out and about at garage sales because I'm like hauling to try to go as fast as I can and to get all the good stuff as fast as I can um, because it does go quickly. So that's kind of why I can't show you too much footage on the way, but again, I'm gonna show you a haul and I seriously, what a great day. Today was really, really good. Sorry my mask keeps writing up, but um, yeah, great day. A great way to spend a Saturday morning. 
Hey you guys, all right, I'm back in my office. I'm just, look at me, I'm swimming in inventory. That's a good thing though, because that means I have a lot of stuff that I can sell, but it is a little bit overwhelming when I get piles and piles of stuff and then I have to list it all. But still, I'm thrilled with how things went and I wanna show you guys exactly what I got. Just my highlights, because I got so many pieces at that garage sale where that woman was just selling off her eBay items. She had a brand new baby. I asked her about it, I said, how is it going? And she said, it's just a little overwhelming to try to run a store. I totally get it because those baby years can be really hard. So I totally got why she was wanting to just liquidate her store and get rid of stuff at this garage sale. And I did know that she was doing this based on her ad. So I got there really early, went through her stuff and immediately I could tell like this was really good stuff. This wasn't just an average eBay store, this was a high end really good eBay store. She had a lot of really good items. So I was able to cherry pick through her stuff and I grabbed around 70 items to bring home. So I pretty much bought out most of her eBay store. She had some really great stuff, like I said. Not only did I get to go through her eBay items, I got to cherry pick the very best ones and then pay just a few dollars per item. So it turned out to be a really good deal. She was more than willing to let it go. I think she just kind of wanted to be done with it. I totally understand that, like I said. So let me just share a few of the things that I got at that yard sale. This is a really cute Vince Raglan sweater. This is from Nordstrom Rack. Vince is a brand that sold at Nordstrom, its retail price is insanely high, but the resale value is generally around $30 to $40, depending on what item that you have. I'm hoping that this will sell for around $30. It's again, just a very basic, classic raglan sweater. So I was happy to pick that up. She had a lot of Vince at this yard sale. This is a Chaser tee. Chaser is a brand of graphic tees that actually retail for around $50 to $60, and they resell pretty well. Um, this one has like a Texas Longhorn with the American flag painted on it. I have another one that already sold for $20 plus shipping, so I do believe these will go pretty quickly. When I picked them up, I knew they would sell for around $20, but I was happy with that because they're generally a pretty quick clip for me. This is a Diane von Furstenberg Bally black dress. It's like a little black dress. It's got a jersey quality to it. It's kind of stretchy. Diane von Furstenberg sells a little more slowly for me, but when it does sell, it does fetch a pretty good price. So I was really happy to pick this up for a decent price. Again, it's like knee length. It's a newer style, so I think it'll sell okay. This is a brand new with tags Athleta Fuse vest. Um, I thought it was really cute. It's full zip, navy blue. It retails for... $89, so even if it only flips for around 30, I'm pleased with that, um, considering I didn't hardly pay anything for it. She had some really cute Lafayette 148 skirts and dresses. This is like a lacy cream skirt, knee length A-line, and Lafayette 148 retails for a lot of money, but the resale value tends to be around 25, 35, or more dollars, just depending on the style. The dresses I have commanded up to $50 for them, so here's to hoping that they sell okay. And just as an example, this skirt still has the tags on, so it's brand new with tags, and as you can see, it retails for $398 for a cheetah print skirt. So I, of course, picked this up. I'm hoping that it sells for around $50. Again, it is brand new with tags. It's more of a pencil skirt with ruched sides. Um, so yeah, here's to hoping that it sells okay for me. These are some Lululemon Pace Rival crops. I could not figure out the print on these, so if you guys know, let me know, but I couldn't find the name of the print, but still, they're like a tie-dye blue swirl. Really, really cute. Um, the Lululemon full-length leggings sell a lot better for me than the crops, but I'm still hoping to get around $40 for these, and I hope that they sell quickly. They're really cute. These are some New With Tags men's Nike golf pants. These retail for $80, so I'm hoping to get around $40 for them. I have sold Nike golf men's pants in the past and Nike golf men's shirts, and they sell pretty well for me, so here's to hoping that these sell as well. They're in a good size also, and again, brand new with tags. She had quite a few brand new items for me to pick from. Speaking of brand new items, this is an Alice and Olivia, which is sold at Nordstrom. This is the Rowley High Low Tent Dress. It retails for $395, which is crazy. I'm not expecting to get that for this dress, of course, but I am hoping to get a pretty good price for it since it's brand new with tags. A comp that I saw on Poshmark was around $125. I don't know that I'll be able to command that price for this dress right now, but since it is a more recent style, I'm hoping to get a pretty good value from it. 
This is a soft surroundings. It has like a cheetah print bottom and a floral top. Silky tunic blouse. Soft surrounding says pretty well for me. It has to be in a larger size though generally and it has to be kind of a more unique print or else it takes a little while for me to sell it. Um, but still I'm really glad I was able to pick this up. I hope this will be a quick flip since it is a more unique print. These are some Lululemon Ohm pants. They are like harem pants. They're really loose fit. I thought they were amazing and the print is crazy so of course I think they're gonna do pretty well for me um, again really happy to find these I have slowly become obsessed with Lululemon for myself you guys like it's really bad I recently just splurged on two pairs of their super high-rise leggings for myself and I could not love them more um, it's taking everything in me not to go back and get even more pairs but I'm gonna hold back see if I can thrift them first, right? So anyway, um, I'm hoping that these sell pretty quickly as well. They are also really high-waisted and different and unique, which is always a good thing. This was too amazing. This is a Nike, vintage Nike windbreaker, women's windbreaker. It's got like a ruched side. It's kind of like a ski jacket, totally retro, totally 90s, obsessed. Um, I'm hoping I can get around 40 to $50 for this. This is a Free People Daybreak knit sweater. It's really chunky, really loose fit, and boho, just like Free People. Um, hoping to sell this for anywhere from $30 to $35. And then as far as shoes go, I picked up these five finger toe shoes, Vibram or Vibram, I'm not sure how you say that. And these always sell great for me. Hoping to get around $50 for them. Um, they are, like I said, really unique really popular and very easy to sell. These are those joie boots, suede boots that I was talking about earlier. Again, hoping that these sell for around $60 for me. They are super, super cute, really excellent condition. Don't even look like they've been worn hardly at all. So really hoping to get a good price for these. At that yard sale, I also picked up these Sorel Kaufman boots. These have like a suede exterior with the rubber waterproof sole. I love selling Sorel boots. The taller the better, honestly, um, but these will probably sell even better for me as fall and winter approaches. Um, I still sell things no matter what the season, but I'm hoping that even, I'll price these a little bit higher and kind of see what they sell for, and I'm willing to wait a little bit if it takes time for them to sell for a really good price. So hoping to get around $50 for these. Okay, moving on to another yard sale. The one that I showed you guys um, where I was getting those books, again, I have a bunch of books here that I will sell on Amazon that will more than pay for every single thing that I got today. So that's why it's so important to broaden your horizons and look at everything that you can, see what you can sell it for. I also picked up a PlayStation 3 and actually two PlayStation 3s, <laughs> I almost forgot, with controllers. I still need to test those, so those are downstairs waiting for me to test, but books and electronics sell really well on Amazon. I'll send those off to Amazon and see what they do, but yeah, those will definitely make me enough money to cover all of my expenses today for everything that's selling on eBay. More than enough, actually. I picked up those Timberland hiking boots at that one yard sale with the Tesla shirts and jacket. The jacket already sold, so that's gone. It sold for $75 the day I listed it, so really happy about that. And then I hope these Timberland boots will fetch me around $40. Um, they are the hiking boots, and they tend to do okay for me. Okay, and the next yard sale held some major surprises. Dixon, a Dixon flannel. I had no idea what this was, you guys. And it was such a jam-packed yard sale that I didn't even look it up. I just felt like the quality was really good. It looked unique. Every clothing item on that on the ground there was a dollar each. So I picked up three of them thinking, well, if it's a good quality flannel, it can go for at least 20 bucks. So I was willing to risk it. You guys, I went home and I looked up comps for these. Comps are crazy. In fact, this shirt that I'm holding right now actually already sold today for $125, crazy. Another one that I listed sold for $90 plus shipping, and now I have just one more that I'm hoping will sell for around $125. So, super crazy. Dixon is a huge bolo, go look for it. I had no idea. But also at that yard sale they had, these are called the Ugg Cindy boots. They have some shearling on the inside. They are leather and suede. They're like riding boots. Really, really cute. I found one and I was like, 
foaming at the mouth like where is the other one where is the other one I asked the person running the yard sale she said she actually had the other one in her garage and she didn't live there so I was like dang it I really don't want to let these go she actually agreed of her own accord to drive to my house and drop the other one off if I bought them so you guys there are good people out there I was so grateful so I picked up the one I let her know what my address was and then she sure enough the next day came by and dropped off the other boot so good people for the win but also at this yard sale were these Sorel with like the fur top these are taller boots Oh my gosh, you guys, these are suede with like the fur shearling lining and these sell so well. They retail for a ton of money. So these sell for around $200 retail. I'm hoping to get anywhere from 80 to 90 for these. So they're in really good condition. I do need to like kind of wipe them down with some Goo Gone or some olive oil to just get that shine back. But yeah, these should sell great. And I was so happy to find them. And these are some Chaco sandals. I love selling Chacos. They're these super sturdy outdoor sandals. Um, I'm not sure about the style on these yet. I have not listed them because I do need to clean them pretty well. I'll probably just let them soak in some soapy water overnight, pull them out, dry them off, and they'll be good as new. But yeah, Chacos tend to sell for anywhere from 30 to up to $50 for me, even more if they're like in really good condition and a really sought after style. So Chacos are very expensive sandals. Um, that's why the resale for them is really, really good. So here's to hoping I get around 40 to 50 for these. So all the yard sales that I went to ended up being around 120 items for me to bring home and list and sell. And you guys, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a three to $4,000 yard sale haul. I have so much good stuff. Things have already been selling. I have these books. I have these game consoles as well that I'm going to be selling on Amazon. I have all these clothes, as you can see in the background, that I'm going to be selling shoes, boots, everything in between. If you want to learn how to do the exact same thing, you guys, I wrote an ebook all about garage sales and how I do it. I wrote down over 150 things that I look for. I wrote all about how to find the very best yard sales and garage sales, the best way to find great things, items that I look for. I go over the basics of how to start an Amazon and eBay account. I go over all the items that I look for, how to look up comps. I go over strategy and everything in between, and I guarantee you will find helpful information in there so the link is in my description down below i hope you love it and guess what if you don't love it if for some reason it doesn't help you i am offering a full money back guarantee so i think you'll find a ton of value in it i've already gotten a ton of positive feedback about it so i'm really excited that it's helping some people out okay i need to turn this off and get to work so thank you so much for tuning in you guys if you like my channel and you want more content like this definitely give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what things you find at garage sales, or if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. You guys are the best, I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, take care. I will catch you next time.